hello and welcome back guys so so far we've been able to create our home component and the structures page and also the quiz page but in this video we'll be styling the quiz page so i just decided to style the quiz page so that as, as we program it you can see and really have a good look of the application a good look and feel of the application so i'll just begin my application by starting up my console and going to the quiz app directory and beginning my application by executing yarn starts and this should start my application and load it in the browser for us to see. So the application is starting up. And it should be up in a moment. Good. So this is the home page of our application. Over in the quiz components. This is what the quiz page looks like. So it's not being styled. So let's get to styling it. Over in my text editor. In the source folder. In the styles folder in the components folder we'll create a new file and call this underscore play dot scss to match the name of the component we'll be styling that the, the file will be styling which is the play component so i'll just quickly import this play file into my styles sheet to add import dot forward slash components slash play i'll quickly test that these styles are connecting by just setting the background color from my page from my body from the play component so the background color background color set that to red and there we go our background is red so we are sure that this style is connecting properly so I'll just get rid of this one and close down this file now the first thing I want to style in my play component is the questions div, which is our entire the div containing the entire question the questions and the button and everything in it. So dot questions to select that div by its class. So the div is going to have a background color of off white have a border left of five pixels solid blue and again we're referencing this color variables from our settings file so in base settings this is the blue we just referenced and the off-white variable so this is what our page looks like now so we'll continue styling it now after the border once set a width of 80 percent on the questions div and the margin of large on the top auto on the right zero on the bottom and auto on the left and then a padding also of small at the top and bottom and medium on the left and right so this is what our quiz component looks like and this is the questions div that carries all these things here with the off-white background now the next thing I want to style is the lifeline. The lifelines are this text over here, the two and the five. So let's style the lifelines. So I'll select the lifeline container, container. So this container here or this div here is what we're styling now. I'll give that div a display property of flex and justify content to space between so this is what we have our 50 50 on the left and the hint on the right that's what the space between does it just puts a space between the flex items which in this case is this hint and the 50 50 lifelines now i also want to bring these texts up a bit because they're kind of like a little lower than the icons themselves the number five and number two so for that i'll first of all surround this text in a span tag so span and i'll give this span a class of 
a class name or rather a class name of lifeline and I'll close this pan here do the same thing with the 5 so this will be span class name lifeline so I'll give this lifelines their own styling so or their own style so down here I have lifeline they have a position of relative position relative and the top will be minus three pixels just to take them upwards a bit okay so it's looking better now though my tool is not getting styled so where did I go wrong let's double check that so over here oh I was styling the time and not the 50 50 my bad there so I'll just delete that so this should be here so span class name lifeline and close the span tag here so that should fix it very good now the next thing we'll style is the our our question this h5 here so that's easy I can easily select the h5 because it's the only h5 in our questions div so the h5 or our question will have a font size of say 1.2 rem a margin bottom of large and a line height of 1.5 and also a text line of center I just want my questions to always be at the center so that's for our question here next thing we will style will be the option container and our options so we'll be styling this options container next so over in play.scss dot options container let me just check my spelling one more time to avoid silly mistakes okay good so the options container would have a background color of blue not the options container sorry the to have a display of inline block and a width of 50% and then each option in the options container will have the following styles so our option that's these options here they'll have a background color of blue background color blue the blue variable and the border radius of bottom radius so let me just check to see that we have the bottom radius variable set here and that's 30 pixels so let's see what we have so far these are options but obviously they need more styles to be applied on them now they have a color of white and the cursor of pointer and the margin of medium top and bottom and auto and the padding of normal and I'm getting all these variables or all these properties or values sorry from my settings file and I'll give them a transition property of 0 0.3 seconds linear all and I'll align them to the center also that's aligning my options and they have a width of 90% also so let's see what they look like our white variable is not defined so let me quickly just create that variable here so above the off white just go white and that will be FFF 
or six f's if you would write it that way so this is what our quiz page looks like currently now when i hover over this options i want the colors to darken a bit and that's easy to do so over in the play component selecting the option applying the hover pseudo class whenever we hover over the option we want it to have a background color of i call the darken function that sas gives us and i want to darken the blue color by 20 percent and this color is going to darken over the duration of 0 0.3 seconds using this linear timing function so that's what our transition is doing here and it's going to apply it on every property that can be that can be transitioned so now if i hover over 1997 it darkens a bit and same thing applies for the rest so that's for the options now the next thing we'll be styling is the button container which is this big boy here so let's get to that now the button container I'll just do that outside the question so the button container is going to have a display property of flex and justify content to flex start I'll also set a margin of 0 pixels on the top left auto bottom small sorry right auto bottom small and left auto also and then the cursor will be pointer two. no I won't set any cursor just yet we have a padding on all sides of medium variable medium and a width of 80 percent so that's for our button container that's why our buttons are kind of pushed in a bit so for the buttons now button container now for each button in the button container I want the buttons to have no border, so border none, and the color of off white for the for the text on the buttons. Currently, we can't see the but we can't see the text clearly because the buttons have a very very light background color. But we're fixing that, and then the coaster will be pointer two, so coaster pointer and the font family will be quicksand and they have to have they have a margin right of each button have a margin right of medium and a padding extra or small on the top and bottom and small on the left and right so that's for our buttons now let's give our buttons background colors so on the button container or select button container and then each button selecting the button i'll be using the first child pseudo class and the first child pseudo class selects every button which is a first child first dash child selects every button which is a first child in a button container and obviously there's just one button that's the first child and that will be our our previous button so we're currently styling the previous button so the previous button will have a background color of blue background color and i'll darken this blue by say 10 percent so blue 10 percent and to have a box shadow of our shadow so shadow and it will have a transition also so transition transition will be 0 0.2 seconds linear oh now that's for our previous button so this is our previous button is what it looks like currently now i'll be styling the hover state of the button so i'll just copy 
the selector and also add the hover studio class so whenever i hover on this button i want to darken the color of this button further so i'll just copy this background color and paste it here and darken the blue this time by 20 percent so whenever i hover over this previous button to be darkened over the duration of 0 0.2 seconds to blue by 20 percent so that's the effect we have there quite subtle so i'll style the other buttons next and i'll just copy this style here and duplicate it twice one two so the next button we want to select is the next button i'll get that by using the not first child to do class but end child and i'll just take away this so i'm selecting not end but end child so I'm selecting every button who is the second child in its parent container who has a class of button container. And the button will have a background color of green. We won't be darkening the color. So this will be green. And the box shadow stays the same and the transition also stays the same. And then we'll be darkening the green here by 10%. Then also for the quit button, which is the last child. So I'll select it by using the last child studio class and this will have a property of or a background color of red for the quit button same box shadow and transition and the hover state will have a background color of red which is darkened by 10 percent too so this will be red and darkened by 10. so that's that for our our quiz page for now and one more thing i forgot to add is the header of the page so this header you see here over in our screenshot this header here the free quiz mode so i'll just quickly add that and that'll be done over in our play component so over in the play component i'll put that just inside i'll use the h2 here and call this quiz mode and reload my page we have the quiz mode here and i'll just align this element to the center so over in my play components at the top down here i'll just select my h2 and text align to the center and i'll give it a light font weight it's not really necessary but i'll just do that so font weight of lighter not light so this is what we have so far so guys in the next video we okay there's still one thing to be done here we haven't styled our number of questions and the timer so let's quickly do that now over in play and this should be in a span tag also So I'll just cut this guy out and put it in a span. Open my span here, paste my time. Okay, so I can float this one to the right, so class name is equal to right not right but left i want my number of questions to be, to be at the left and the timer to be at the right so this class is come from materialize so that should fix our issue here okay so we have our com component properly styled now and the next video will begin programming or writing the program logic for our, our quiz components so